Well, it's June. We're in Weybridge. Oh, so the sun is shining. <laughs> Can only mean one thing. Royal Cornwall Show 2016. Okay, okay. Run titles. <laughs> So I'm here now at the dog show tent. I'm with Helen. Helen, you've travelled down from Somerset, is that correct? That's correct, this morning. And is this your first time at the show? No, it's about our sixth or seventh time, actually. OK, and tell us about why you're here today. Um, we're here today to show our border terriers off, and the judge is a terrier judge. And she was best of breed here last year and was placed in the group. And I've also got the veteran here who's nearly 14 years of age. That's amazing. What's the secret to keeping them so well trained? Make it fun. Their training goes on at Lyme Regis every week, on the beach, on the sea walls, and just make it fun all the time. Doesn't have to be in a hall. Can be here and always reward. <laughs> always reward. And the Royal Cornwall Show, what's it mean to you? Oh, it's the best. I go to all the others, but this is the best show. That's why I come up every year. Well, wishing you all the very best of luck Thank today. Thank you very much. And thanks for your time. Thank you. Well, I've just bumped into no stranger of the Cornwall Channel, a big supporter of ours, Dan from Cornwall Business Solutions. Dan, how are you today? Very well, thank you. Shane, how are you? Uh, living the dream. If, in fact, if I was any better, there'd have to be two of me. Dan, the Royal Cornwall... It's a scary thought. Dan, the Royal Cornwall Show, what's it mean to you? Uh, Royal Cornwall Show is just a fantastic way of getting around uh, everything that comes down to Cornwall and in Cornwall. Um, you can see a variety of things from dog show, flower show, all the agricultural stuff. Um, Dan, as a numbers man, you're always helping businesses grow in Cornwall. How many people do you reckon is going to come through these gates here today? Estimate? I think probably 100,000 plus uh, over the next three days. I wouldn't be surprised. It's a very popular show. And if you were to sum up the feeling of the Royal Cornwall Show, what would it be? Very relaxed, very welcoming, uh, very enjoyable day. <laughs> Steam engines fascinate me, so I'm here now with Ian. Ian's doing some last prep, I guess, on the engine. Yes. Ian, tell me a little bit about this steam engine. He's a 1943 Marshall S-Type road roller. Um, like I said, she was born in 1943, next to the last to come off the production line. Um, we've had her for about um, seven years now, and we do a little bit every year, so yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. It takes ages and ages to polish, but I think the proof is in the pudding. Absolutely, and from Redruth then, yes. it's Royal Cornwall, it's a local event for you. What's it mean to you, the Royal Cornwall Show? Oh, it means everything. Yes, yes, to be here, to be invited to be here, it's, I wouldn't turn it down, not for a million pounds. And what's the message? The message is, be here, come through the gate, see what Cornwall's got to give, and you will be impressed. It's getting out of bed here a minute. Oh, a bit of a stretch, a bit of a stretch. Oh, whoa. Good morning, Ryan. Good, Good morning. morning. It's a nice little sleep in there. Um, Ryan, tell me, what are you doing here today? Um, we're with the World War I Living History Group. This is, this is my, my display on the American Expeditionary Force, uh, arrived in 1917. This is just a general sort of kit display, really, um, but what the Americans carried, even the weapons that they had. The attention to detail is great. In fact, I was, I was thinking I'll never get through this barbed wire, but look <laughs> at the attention. This is not actually barbed wire. It's actually string spray paint. It's silver. Yeah, it's string, glue, and silver spray paint. It's uh, kind so of... So showbiz. Kind of gets around the health and safety issue, yeah, definitely. Those elves, <laughs> those elves. Like I said, the attention to detail here is fantastic. So I'm now about to go into the trenches. Well, if you're going into Oh, hang on. Look up. What's going on here? What's going on here? If you're going into the trench, yeah. the lady's not allowed anywhere near. Yeah. If you like to take that, there's salt and sauce in there and bacon butties for the troops. That's you what I like about it. Thank you me. very much. Here I go. Good morning, sir. Good morning. One of the kind ladies outside said to pass this to you. It's your, uh, it's your breakfast. Oh, I say. Guys, food's up. <laughs> Get 
Well, there's no stall and bucket here on this stand. We have electricity in Cornwall now. Check this out. Well, we have a first, a debut here at the Royal Cornwall Show. I'm here with Simon. Simon, tell us what this is behind me. This is a new product from GA Farm Technologies. It's a monobox milking robot, which is um, the first time been shown at the show in the UK. Um, and it's a real innovative new machine. Um, basically, what we got here is um, a cow will come into the machine. She gets identified. Um, then a 3D camera will pick up her teats. It will then attach it automatically. It will then wash that teat, clean that teat, stimulate that teat, take away the full milk, and then go straight to the milking phase and milk that cow, all fully automatic. So we're getting um, three times a day milking, and basically afterwards it will then also spray the teat as well, the teat dip, which is um, quite unique to GEA. Um, we can quarterly dump the milk as well, which is another unique factor. And this also is a labour-saving piece of equipment for, for the farmers, and it's better um, health and welfare for the cows as well. And the Royal Cornwall Show, what's yeah. it mean to you as a company? Um, it's a very important show for the company. Uh, it's one of the biggest shows that we do as a company. Um, obviously, it's great here to see old customers that come along to see us and also to, to showcase our new, new products to gain new customers as well. So, yeah, so very, very important for us for the future. Simon, superb. And uh, what's the message? Well, the message is... Uh, this is the, the new technology. This is the <laughs> this is the future. Um, obviously, this comes in a robotic form as well, which is a, a new product as well. Which obviously we've got one sold in the UK as well. So watch this space. What I really love about the Royal Cornwall Show is you get to see some of the new motors that are coming out from the local dealers. I'm here now with Joe from Parklands Toyota. Joe, tell us about this vehicle behind us. Uh, well, this is the all-new Hilux, which is being launched from the 1st of July. Um, it's available in four specifications and three body styles, a single cab, extra cab and double cab. Uh, the one new engine, new towing capacity as well. Yeah. And what's the Royal Cornwall Show mean to Parklands Toyota as a company? Uh, well, it's great to be here to get with, you know, together with our current customers, um, you know, try and attract new customers as well from around the county. Um, it's just great to catch up with everyone. Yeah. And I hear there's a rumour going around the showground today, and I don't know if you've heard it, uh, <laughs> that uh, Mole Valley have stopped doing pasties this year. Do you, have you heard that? I have heard that, but uh, if they can't do pasties, we've got meringues. Yep. And scones? And scones. Uh, and scones. Crisps, scones. Scones. Sc scones. Which one is it? With the jam. Which one is it? On. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know which way. I think Cornish way is which way. Well, I'm going to go down and find out about this story in yeah. a minute. It's all kicking off yeah. uh, on Twitter. We need to find out if it's true or not. Uh, and finally, yeah. what's the message? The best name for a dog I've ever heard. This is Beamer. I'm here with Beamer and Anthony from Ocean BMW. Anthony, good to see you again. How are you? I'm very, very well. It's one of those ones, Royal Cornwall Show, something special about it. What's it mean to Ocean BMW? Well, we have to be here every year. It's a great show for us. Get uh, lots of opportunities to meet some uh, old customers and hopefully some new customers. And the car of the show this year, what's it going to be? Is it the i8? Is it the i3? I think the car of the show all round is probably the 2 Series in the top corner over there. Um, it's one of the latest products that we've got. Seems to be attracting a lot of interest at the moment. Superb. And to sum up the Royal Cornwall Show for you, Anthony, what is it? It's just good fun. Really good fun. Uh, lots of happy people. Um, and a really enjoyable three days. So we're in the cattle shed here at the Royal Cornwall Showground. I'm now with Barnaby. Barnaby, tell me a little bit about what appears to me to be just a cow behind me. What is going on here? This is the British Blue, um, originated from Belgium in 1983. Um, it's bought over here um, purely for muscle development. Um, it is just muscle. It is a meat machine. Um, and now we put our own twist on it and bed out and bred out all the bad Belgium traits. How do you do that? Just keep breeding, that is just um, selection. Okay. Selection of breeding stock. Um, so you pick correctness and you pick up on the, um, you know, the, the general traits that you would like to breed from. So a bull and a heifer or a bull and a cow, you know, you pick what you want to breed into their progeny. And the Royal Cornwall Show, what's it mean to you? Is it your first time here? No, no, I've been to Royal Cornwall for years and years and years. Um, yeah, no, Royal Cornwall is probably one of my favorite shows. It is, uh, it's up there. I, I love Royal Cornwall. The atmosphere is brilliant. You get a lot of farming people here. You know, you go to other shows like Devon County, Bath and West, and there isn't so many farming people.
people here. But this is where everybody, all the farmers and all the stockmen, all come for their day out because of the cattle and the atmosphere, and it's more agricultural. Probably the most agricultural show in the southwest, at least. Sometimes I give myself the creep. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. It all keeps adding up, and I think I've had enough. Oh, 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 oh. Am I just paranoid? Am I just Well, I'm with Gavin now from a local firm. Gavin, you've got a very important delivery to make. Tell us a bit about what's on board. Uh, quite a special delivery, Shane, yeah. Um, we've been requested by the Secretary of Royal Cornwall Show uh, with the Cornwall Food and Farming uh, to collect some uh, produce from the local producers and we have to deliver it to Buckingham Palace tomorrow morning to the Queen for her 90th birthday party. Well, if anyone's going to get into <laughs> Buckingham Palace, it'll be you. Gavin, thank you very much for your time and catch up with you soon. Thank you very much, Shane. All the best. So we're on another trade stand here at the Royal Cornwall Show. I'm with Megan and Joe. Joe, tell us about your stand here today. Well, we're a shop in Truro, and what we like to do here is just bring a little bit of what we sell in Truro just so we can meet new customers. And Megan, the Royal Cornwall Show, what's it mean to you? Uh, it's great, really, just to meet new customers and just show people what we have to offer in Truro and just something a bit different, really. <laughs> Beautiful. Now I'm going to try on one of these garments and then back to you in the studio. <sighs> Well, it's been a fabulous day one of the Royal Cornwall Show. Make sure you come down over the next two days to experience it for yourself. Now, after all this hard work, reporting, time for a pint. Let's try it. Proper job.